Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're actually going to be installing our bride seats. So I do have the Street Faction side mounts here for the bride seat. So I've never put one of these together, but let's go ahead and see how it goes. <gasps> oh. Security dog coming to attack. I forgot about you, dude. <laughs> I know, she did. Okay, now that we got the Street Faction side mounts assembled, uh, we can go ahead and start taking out the stock seat from the car and see how it starts mounting onto the bride seat. Honestly, these side mounts were a little complicated to put together and I'm not even sure if they're on right, so we might have to go back and fix them. Okay, so we got the stock seat out, and this is how it looks. This thing has definitely seen better days. No idea how many times I farted in that, now it's all black. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Ooh. Oh, I'm about to drop the seat, boy. Ooh. Making my last one. Yeah. Okay, now we're just working on putting on the side mounts onto the car, making sure everything is centered. And yeah, let's go ahead and show you how it looks. His favorite ones, the back side. That right. Let's see what touches this one. Just a couple of uh, turns with this bad boy, and it's in. Come check it out. Super easy, boys. All you gotta do is just twist here, twist here, a little bit more down there, and some right there, and it's yours. GG, too easy. It's all in there. Ignore this. <laughs> Ignore the ugly stains, Don't look bro. at that. <laughs> look at the carbon fiber, the cheapen fiber. Also, real quick, for people that don't know, the Zeta 4s do have leather right here upgraded. I know, I think the Zeta 2s and 3s maybe, I don't even know if those are a thing, but I know for sure this, like they don't have the leather here. So they put the leather here for when you get in and out, it's not chafing and over time it wears like the fabric of the, of whatever this thing is called, you know, the bride seat. And they also put the carbon fiber accents here, you can see, very nice, and here. Right here. So this is bigger. They did this on purpose too, so you could put the, um, what's it called? Like the four point harnesses and six point, whatever else you want to use. But it is bigger, that way, uh, whatever you need to put in there just like goes right in. Jesus Christ. You know, like look at that. My fist goes in there. <laughs> awesome purchase. Super comfortable. All right, how does it feel? It is very tight. I ain't gonna lie, dude. If you're fat, you're probably not gonna fit in this. <laughs> so, shout out to Ronnie. Yeah, don't get in, Ronnie. <laughs> you can get in, actually. So, yeah. So honestly, it, it's very snug. Like, I have a pretty athletic build. Like, my back is pretty wide, and my legs are pretty thick too. But, like, I still have plenty of room to move. Like, it's still very comfortable, and it still does what the seat is meant to do, which is keep you in place. And the cool thing about the Street Faction. Um, mounts is that they do have the option for just the mounts and there's the mounts with the slider so the slider is pretty easy to put on and it works 
flawlessly, as you can see. So, yeah, this is pretty freaking comfortable, honestly. I'm very happy with the purchase, and it does give you full adjustability if you want the more thigh support. You could just like incline it or vice versa, back and forth. But uh, yeah, a great back support. Don't know what else, guys. <laughs> like, just go That's it. Buy one, bro. Time to go race. The installing the seat it was it was pretty easy, but figuring out the street faction uh, mount and how to like. <laughs> Uh, set it all together like where everything goes it was a little confusing but once you just uh, start putting everything in and you can see where everything goes like there's not necessarily like a right and left but once you put certain pieces where you think they go you get a much better idea and from there everything just falls into place um, yeah thank you for watching guys